Is neurofeedback therapy helpful for bipolar disorder? Bipolar disorder can ruin families, break up marriages, and in general wreak havoc on people's lives. The ups and downs can come on suddenly, leaving many to keep a continual feed of mood-altering medications just to stay level. Because bipolarity is all about instability, it leaves people's lives in ruin. The brain of someone with bipolar disorder is operating at extremes. At times, it is seemingly stuck in a funk of sorts. At other times, it is locked into a warp drive, hyperspeed mode. Of course, these extremes can be seen on the EEG. When functioning in the depressed phase, delta and theta waves will spike. Conversely, when they are in the excited phase, we will see the prevalence of high beta brain waves. As I write, neurofeedback treatment for bipolar disorder falls short of being a cure. Neurofeedback is used primarily to stabilize the patient. However, it should be noted that there has been some success with completely canceling the rapid cycling behavior that plagues so many with bipolar disorder. Understandably, this does not happen overnight and may very well require more sessions than usual. Keep in mind, though, the possible outcome is full abatement of the rapid cycling bipolar disorder. As a psychologist, I have been counseling individuals with bipolar disorder for over two decades. I have observed their frustration with the available treatments for this disorder. Most of the clients that I have worked with who have bipolar disorder have to have medication change every year to keep their brain and their life stable. Imagine three large tubs of water. They're lined up in front of you, one in the middle and one on either side of that one. The tub on the right contains water that is scalding hot. The one on the left is filled with near freezing water. In the middle, however, is a tub filled with soothingly warm and very comfortable water. Now imagine that you hop with both feet into the scalding hot water. Ouch! And you just as quickly jump back out, but into the tub of freezing water. Ah! Now right back into the scalding water. Ouch! The metaphor above will resonate with many who have suffered with bipolar disorder. Even though they suspect there might be middle, far more comfortable tub of water, try as they might, they either find themselves in the very hot or very cold tubs. With neurofeedback, you might say the patient is learning to cool the hot water a few degrees and warm the freezing water up a bit. Yet another way of looking at it would be the possibility of simply learning to spend most of their time standing in the middle tub. No matter how you slice it, things are looking good when it comes to neurofeedback as a treatment for bipolar disorder. Not only will it provide people with the balance and stability their life greatly needs, it will give them the tools and knowledge they need to manage their disability. Best of all is the fact many can get off the medications. They may be left with true freedom from their condition. Would you like to know more about the amazing world of neurofeedback? Go to www.neurofeedbackbook.com. My name is Dr. Claire Albright. I'm a psychologist and the author of a 168-page book called Neurofeedback, Transforming Your Life with Brain Biofeedback. And I can be reached at 949-454-0996. Go to neurofeedbackbook.com and you can download the PDF ebook version of my book for only $7.99.